thank you for watching this video. This is video number three in my series about making abstract art and starting with art therapy. These are very basic exercises which can allow you to start expressing yourself on the paper, expressing yourself visually and feeling more present and more calm by feeling the senses outside of us and by feeling the senses inside of us. Let's start with the materials. In this series, I focus on very basic supplies that I hope that everyone has at home already. It's a pencil, a pen, and marker. You can use any materials that you have at home. You should have three different things. So another thing that you will need is paper. Any paper that you have at home. You can also do this exercise in digital, and you will see me later doing it actually in digital because it's so much easier to record. So let's continue now to the exercise. As usual, we will focus on very basic senses, senses that are always with us, senses that are easy to feel and easy to connect with. We will start with the sound, the sound in the room. You listen around yourself, maybe you can hear birds singing outside, maybe you can hear the wind, maybe you can hear your pet going around or your spouse doing something. So I take those sounds in and what I can hear is clock ticking and the computer a little bit like that. You can take the sounds all together or you can choose one specific sound. I will focus on the clock ticking because it's much more dominant sound. And then look at the supplies. The sound of the clock ticking, I would take this pen. The sharp color of it and the thickness of it. Somehow those qualities of it, they really match to the sound of the clock ticking. They match more than those two in my head. Next thing, feeling the temperature in the room. When I mean temperature in the room, I mean is it warm, is it cold, maybe the window is open, you can feel some wind coming from outside. Maybe you have a fireplace going and you can feel the warmth from there. Gather all of those different temperature feelings of your body and try to determine which of those supplies that you have left passing the best. So I have a pencil or a marker. My room is very still and the temperature is very comfortable. I don't really feel anything specific, I would say. I'll take this pencil and now I'm going to determine some shape which works well with the feeling of this temperature in the room. I decided to use the pencil. So I set up my painting brush in Photoshop to look like pencil and I draw my form, the shape. And the shape can be anything. Check out my previous videos where I talk more about different shapes. Right now I feel that the temperature in the room is very even and uh, normal. Somehow I feel like it is represented by this wavy line with dots which are evenly spread around it. Next step will be the feeling of your clothes. Or maybe you're naked, the feeling of you being naked in the room, the feeling of your skin. How is your skin feeling against your clothes? Or maybe against your chair? So for example, I'm pregnant right now, so my belly is quite big, so that is the spot which has the most tension from the clothes. Also, I can feel my t-shirt. The only tool that I have left is my marker, so that is what I'm going to use for the feeling of my clothes. And now I want to determine the shape. Right now, I can feel my clothes mostly on my stomach. So I draw my stomach like this round circle with some kind of tension in it. I also can feel my t-shirt mostly around my shoulders. So I will represent it like this. And I get this uh, very interesting shape. Next thing, we're coming back to sound. So you should use the same tool as you decided for the sound in the room. The focus on now is the sound inside of my body. And I will close my eyes, I will listen to the sound inside of my body. I can hear me breathing, I can hear me swallowing, and I can hear my heart beating. Try to hear the sounds that your body makes. So when you did that, determine which one you want to focus on, which one is the one which draws your attention the most. So for me, it is, it is my heart beat. I can hear my heart beating. So now I want to determine some shape which will represent the sound of my heart beating. Now I want to find a shape which represents the sound which I hear inside of me, the sound of my heart. And it wouldn't be a surprise for you that I kind of imagine it as a growing sensation from center outwards. So I represent it as this circle without the circles growing out of it. Now we have all the different shapes and colors representing different feelings that we have at this point of time. 
right here and now. Now we can take our paper and we draw an egg on it. It doesn't need to be very pretty. It doesn't really need to look like an egg. It's just this kind of shape. And we draw another egg inside of it and another egg inside of that one. This way we will get four different zones. Number one is going to be the place where we draw the shape for the heart bit. Number two is going to be the area where we put the shapes for the filling of our clothes. Area number three is going to be filled with the shape which represents the temperature in the room. I fill it up with my wavy line and with the dots around it. And the area number four is going to be the area which we fill up with the sound in the room. My sound in the room was the clock ticking and I felt like the blue pan passes very well with that sound. So here I don't want to have any shapes, I actually just want you to fill up this area with your tool of choice in any way you feel it works well. Yeah, so that is my result. If you want to share your result with me, feel free to do that. I would be so happy to see how it worked for you. Feel free to connect with me here on YouTube or in my Instagram. Also, please subscribe to my channel. I'm making videos like this every week. Have a great day, have a great mood, and I hope to see you here again. Bye-bye.